Hi, this will be a quick video showing you the true power of the HRE Capital exploit. This has been covered by people like the Blobber and the Playmaker in the past, but uh, this will extrapolate and show you just how truly broken this strategy is. So as you can see, I'm a post-revoke Austria, and Great Britain is currently not in the HRE. All you have to do is uh, take their capital in a war and be able to connect it to the HRE. I'm going to use console commands, but you could do this legitimately as well. You own their capital and then add it to the HRE. Then return the province to them. Their old province will be in the HRE, their new capital will not be. Start a second war, probably after your truce is up. Take their new capital, they will move their back to their old capital, which will now be in the HRE. So Great Britain is now currently a prince in the HRE. Now if you have Erringer Landfrieda, which prevents intra-HRE wars, that means if I try to attack one of Great Britain's allies, like uh, Portugal, they cannot join the war. They are an HRE prince that is prohibited from fighting other people in the HRE. And that, that'll work for Castile, Portugal, Aragon. You can just go down the list and, and fight them one by one until you've essentially stopped all European wars altogether. Now, the really broken thing is if you have added them to the HRE and you allow them to colonize, you wait a few hundred years for them to fill up North and South America, and then you form the Holy Roman Empire, not only do you get all of these princes, like all of Great Britain, all of Iberia, you could get all of Russia, all of Sweden, you also get the colonial holdings as well, which is kind of crazy. So uh, if you want the easiest uh, one tag, uh, one faith world conquest you've ever seen, uh, do this strategy.